In this video, we're going to take another look at annual depreciation. First of all, we'll talk about what annual depreciation is. We'll then use a spreadsheet to produce a table of depreciated values. We'll use some algebra to uh, generate a formula, a general formula for annual depreciation. So let's start with a spreadsheet. Suppose that we've got uh, something that is originally valued at $30,000 and we're going to depreciate it by 5% each year. Then its value at the end of the first year, let's build a formula here. It's going to be equal to whatever the previous year's value is minus 5% um, of that previous year's value. So we could do the same thing for each next year. So it's going to be the same formula. We'll just take whatever the previous year's value was, minus 5% of that. So I could take the formula that we had there and just copy it down. Now, other than rounding off to the nearest penny, the, here we are calculating those depreciated values each year. Each year it's 5% less than it was uh, the year before. So what happened here is that we had the starting value, then we depreciated that by 5%, which meant to take that value minus 5% of that value. Then we looked at this next value, depreciated it by 5%, that is to take 5% of that value, subtract it from it to get this new value. And so we continued to depreciate down. Now, of course, we're not rounding off to the nearest penny here, but you're, uh, you're seeing the idea. That's what it means to depreciate annually by 5%. So let's develop a general formula for annual depreciation. So let's let P be the starting value that we're going to depreciate annually. So let's let A be the function that describes the amount at the end of a particular period. Uh, so uh, A0 is the starting value, A1. So at the end of the first year, we depreciated by uh, some, some value R. So P minus P times the rate of depreciation, the annual rate of depreciation as a decimal, and so that would be the uh, value at the end of the first year. Now, it's nice to note that this value, P minus PR, could be factored. That is, the value at the end of the first year is going to be that original principal times 1 minus R. So the value at the end of the second year will be equal to the value at the end of the first year minus the value at the end of the first year times the rate of depreciation, the annual rate of depreciation. But the value at the end of the first year was P times 1 minus R, so the value at the end of the second year is going to be P times 1 minus R minus P times 1 minus R times R. Now notice that the <clears throat> that this factors. There's a P times 1 minus R in each of these, so it factors to be P times 1 minus R. That's what we're factoring out, and we're left with a 1 minus R in here. So at the end of the second year, the value is going to be P times 1 minus R to the second power. Can you predict what it's going to be at the end of the third year? At the end of the third year, it's going to be the value at the end of the second year, which is P times 1 minus R squared, minus the value at the second year, P times 1 minus R squared, times R. Now notice that P times 1 minus R squared will factor out of this, leaving us with P times 1 minus R squared. That's what we factored out of both of these. So we're left with a 1 when this gets factored out. 
a, a 1 when this gets factored out minus r when that gets factored out. Okay. So it so in general the value is going to be a of t is equal to p times 1 minus r which r is the annual depreciation rate times the number of, of years that we've depreciated. So let's solve a problem. So let's say that a car was valued at $25,000 in the year 1991 and the value depreciated to uh, $10,000 by the year 2005. So let's set up the problem. Let T be the years after 1991 and A of T equal the value of the car of the car t, t years after 1991. Okay. So therefore when t is 0 or a of 0 uh, the initial value is going to be 25,000. The general formula for depreciation which we developed just previously was a of t is equal to the original value times 1 minus the annual rate of uh, of depreciation raised to the t power so so a of 0 is p times 1 minus r to the 0 power and anything to the 0 power is 1 therefore a to the 0 is equal to p and we know that that's the original value uh, so it's going to be 25,000 so we're we're, we've made good progress. We now know that A of t for us is going to be 25,000 times 1 minus r to the t power. So we've got A of t is equal to 25,000 times 1 minus r to the t power. The thing that we know is that in the year 2006, the value of the car was $10,000. So the year 2006 is 15 years after 1991, so A at 15 years after 1991 is going to be 25,000 times 1 minus the annual rate of depreciation raised to the 15th power. But we know that that value is equal to, um, what did they say, $10,000. So in legacy style, we want to begin to solve this problem. We know that A at year 15 was going to be equal to that amount, but A at 15 is equal to 10,000. So now we've got this equation. So let's divide both sides by 25,000. This fraction on the left-hand side reduces. We could actually put it as a decimal if we wanted to. Of course, that's a point 0.4. Uh, uh, it's a, a 40 percent. Uh, but now we need to solve for R. We want to know the annual depletion rate. So I need to undo this. That's going to be easy. I'll just take the 15th root of both sides. So 0.4 raised to the 1 15th power is going to be equal to 1 minus R. So adding r to both sides of this equation and subtracting this amount from both sides of the equation, I get this, which I can do on my calculator to find out uh, an annual rate. So my cal calculator gave me this value for this calculation. If I want to convert that to a percent, is approximately 19.3% if we rounded to a the nearest decimal point uh, to one decimal point. Okay, so what we did in this video, we looked at the idea of what annual depreciation is. We used a spreadsheet to build a table of depreciated values. We built a general formula for annual depreciation, and then we uh, solved a problem about annual depreciation. Okay, good luck.